get yourself a multi tool brilliant piece of kit especially a Milwaukee one so we've built the extra corner just to put our intermediate in there Get all set, that'll take us up right, right up to the scaffold height. And there you go. Just hooks in the back like that, away you go. Right, we're up to lint light now, so we're just going to get this lintel on, we can get the block work up then. Ooh. 
Right. Flint on. Profiles up. Ready to get our block work done. Intermediates. I've just drilled it through the block. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's just put it on the cavity side. We can get this blasted up as quick as we can. And then we'll just swap the profiles back to the outside. Drill through this, probably this joint here. Pop them in there. And then away we go again. Pipe's just jointing up. I'm just going to set up. Now we have to knock the mortar a lot wetter now. Oh yeah, can't get the line down there. That's as far as down as we can get it. So. Fits brick. Done. Cracking tool works well with other stuff as well. There you go. I'll just stick the fixed brick on top of that line, makes it weighted down. Um okay. right. One sec. Fix your line first. Through the grooves. Done. Superb. Now we can get the mortar knocked up nice and wet and get this thrown in. Nice and neatly of course. So because there's a lot of it we'll just go to time up for this. Yeah, big truss of these, big pikes. There's the party wall, gotta let take that up as well. These sides ready for scaffold. And if we get the next lift up to there, we should just reach the top of the pike without too much stretching or hop-ups. Still, still open for that plot, but not holding our breath. So, here we go. And the wind's picked up when it's cooled down a hell of a lot. It's now bearable. We're finally up. So profile's coming down now. Well I'll join up. Al, make sure you join this hole in the block that I've left. Make sure you fill those holes up in the blocks. Let's get this with a profile set up.
that's it all set. That'll take us up right, right up to scaffold height. And there you go. Just hooks in the back like that. Tap it up. Swing up the back. Away you go. Corner up. You can leave that end up, mate. That, that, I'll just drop a bit on each side, save me back and forth. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we're getting the scaffold to here, which means we can't get profiles on. So we've built the extra corner just to put our intermediate in there.
we go, mark it up. We'll come a couple of mil back off that line so we're not too tight. Jobs are good. So, get a, get yourself a multi tool, brilliant piece of kit, especially a Milwaukee one. Sounded a lot different than the uh, the one I've heard. That's the um, live version. Right. It's about eight versions. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of remixes. All done by Kraftwerk. Yeah. Here's a few different things for other people like. Yeah. I want the heavy breathing in it. Yeah.
Right, after a hectic start, dropping the van off for a service and then getting back, we're up on the table lifts finally. There's a far one, there's the one for the party wall, and here's ours. Here's today's. So that's what's left. Um, forgot the drill because we've been messing around with the van, so I'm gonna have to, we're just going to have to do the fixed brick on the blocks. No drilling to put the profiles up, but we can get the profiles up on the outside. So that's okay. All geared up, so for the cuts. Um, yeah, that's it. So, let's get a couple of corners set up for starters. And then we can get cracking.
to step with south. We've got one lane closed with an accident and big queues behind it. And the 850 at Utoxeter on the westbound side, there's a lorry that's broken down at Waterbridge Roundabout. So you've got three miles of queues coming in now. M4 lane at Westland's end, southbound at Junction's 1 to 2. That earlier accident is cleared, but we've still got the lane. And the M25. They are to keep alive their hopes of qualifying for the latter stages, and that is what their aim was. Manchester Steve Park said as much coming into the tournament. Their aim was to get out of the group. Does that mean then we, we won't see much defensive play from Scotland? They're going to have to really attack the ball from the word go. Difficult to say, I think, Jeremy. I, they just won't want to lose. I think if they could get a draw and then still have something to play for going into their final group game, which is at Hampden Park, so they'll have home support behind them in that last game against Croatia. If there's something to play for, then I think it is very much in Scotland's hands. So difficult to say how they'll shape up, but I certainly think they won't want to lose. But as we know, such is the attacking talent, the wealth of attacking talent that Gareth Southgate has. See a bit of the game, John. There we are, BBC Sport correspondent. Cheers. Take care. Sometimes the reporter doesn't get to watch the game. Pete Ross is a BBC reporter himself. He's Scottish. Now, Pete, I know you've got slightly divided loyalties, but not where Scottish football is concerned. Is that right? Absolutely not, Jeremy. Uh, I don't think I've ever dreaded a game so much as tonight's kickoff. Uh, no, it's a very nervous day right now. Oh, Jamie, Jamie at the back of us has been in the attic and he's got the nice yellow flag with the red dragon the Scottish flag. I put a little Scottish flag up for him. And he's been playing Yes Sir, I Can Be. <laughs> well, that is a great song. Were you at Euro 96? I'm looking at my very tickets from the day, eight McBrides. I managed to get eight tickets for £15 each. Well, wow. Imagine to see that goal scored by the maestro himself, the, yeah. the Pele, the Maradona, and he said Madonna then, and um, George Best, you know, our George Best, old gas. Yeah, the gas.
dad, a proud Scotsman, on a five-hour drive to Devon. It's a quiet car. I wish we had another half hour for this. Lewis says I'm Essex born and raised. I live in Aberdeen show with my... ...cover the reasons why prosecution rates are so low, although it does recognise the reluctance from the CPS to take on cases. Some uh, police officers even using the phrase, why bother, and talking about the fact that...